Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at the concept of microservices. And to understand microservices, we first need to understand monoliths or monolithic architecture. And the idea here is that we have one app which is responsible for everything, and the functionality is tightly coupled. So I'm gonna get my pen tool out here, and just to highlight, notice that there is a server, and everything is running on a single server, whether it's load balancing, caching, the database, um, maybe the marketing website, the front end JavaScript framework, the back end with its API, uh, the uh, ORM connected to background tasks, things like that. And that's the idea of a monolith. And that's what um, a lot of people are used to doing. But the idea with microservice architecture is that you have multiple apps which are responsible for one, uh, one thing and the functionality is isolate and stateless. And so just by uh, leveraging um, various cloud services or bolting it onto your service, uh, you know, you are technically using microservice architecture. So maybe your web app is all hosted uh, in containers. So you have your APIs, your or your ORM, your reports. Maybe you have abstracted out some particular functions into Lambda functions. You have your um, marketing website hosted on S3. You have your front end JavaScript hosted on S3. You're now using Elastic Load Balancer, uh, Elastic Cache, RDS, SQS, and that's the idea between monoliths and microservices, okay?